Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Angel Chest plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to keep all your stuff once you die. It's going to be put in a nice chest with your name above it and then you can either run back to it, teleport back to it or have the chest teleport to you. So first of all we are going to give that a showcase. So there's loads of creepers and spiders around here. Hopefully they kill me and they're actually struggling quite a lot. So what we might have to do is actually use a command. So if we do forward slash kill and then my username, it is just going to kill me. And then if we look in chat, it's going to say an angel collects your stuff and put it into a chest. It's going to give you the location. Then it's going to give you a couple of options to teleport, fetch and unlock it. So if we just fly back to it, you can see there is a nice hologram above it with my name. And then all we will need to do is right click it. And as if by magic, we have our stuff back. So that is kind of simply how it will work. But let's try it again. So if I kill myself the first time while midair, it's just going to float up here until we right click it. And then we can actually have multiple. So if you do for slash AC info, that's going to give you a list of all of your angel chests in the world. So I'm going to do the same command. So I'm going to kill myself again. And now we have two of them. So it will now show that there is chest one and chest two. If we do AC info, it will give their coordinates and it allows us to teleport or fetch them. So if we do force slash ACTP and then a number, so number one will get us to chest number one. If we do ACTP two, that's gonna get us to the second chest, as easy as that. Obviously you will need permissions to do this. Then if we do AC fetch one, that's gonna bring the first chest to us. If we do AC chest two, that's gonna bring the second chest to us, and there we go. So we have both now, we've got everything in our inventory, it's put our armor back on. You can then do forward slash AC reload to reload any changes you made in the config file. Now if I were to kill myself again, what we can do is actually unlock the chest so other people can actually grab the stuff. So there's a couple of ways of doing this, you can either do AC unlock or forward slash unlock. So that is everything in the plugin in-game, let's go ahead and look at the config file. So here we are in the SMP control panel and as you can see there is an angels folder that saves the data and then we've got a config.yml. So if we go into the config.yml there's actually quite a lot in here we can change. So up at the top we've got the angel chest duration, so how long does it last for. Then the maximum allowed chest, so if you go over this number, so you die a sixth time without collecting any, it will delete the first chest and just replace it. So be aware of that, you can obviously change this number if you wanted to. Um, do you want it to be loud in PvP, yes or no? Then we have the max radius, so it will search in a radius of 10 for a suitable block to place the chest on. Then we've got show location, so do you want the players to receive a message in chat showing them the coordinates of where they left it? And then do you want to show the teleporting, fetching and unlocking links on a separate line? Then we have the material of the chest, so it doesn't actually have to be a chest, it can be something else such as a soul campfire, ender chest, obsidian, etc. So you can literally make it anything you want to, which is very cool. Then we've got the head uses player name, so it will have the player name above it, which is very cool. And if we scroll down, we can have um, a list of items where it won't spawn. So it won't spawn on farmland, grass or lava, which is probably quite a good idea. And then it only will spawn in air and water at the moment. So then we've got ignore keep inventory, where if you have another plugin which forces you to keep your inventory, um, it can either ignore that, yes or no. Scroll down a bit more, and then we've got the economy section, which is very cool. So you can actually give it a price in order to teleport or fetch a chest. Scroll down and we've got some disabled items, disabled materials and disabled world. So if you want to disable any of these, make sure you move the pound sign and then it's going to actually work. Um, when there's a pound sign, so the hashtag, it won't read it and it will ignore this line. And that is pretty much everything. We've got a bit of text down the bottom, but nothing too much. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.12 to 1.16. And you can see there's lots of cool information here, some more pictures of different chests, so you can make them literally anything you want. Here are all the permissions to give to your players, and then if you have any problems, contact the developer and I'm sure they'll be able to help you. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.